Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello, and welcome back. Yes, so we have no internet right now, so uh, we're doing the video on our phone, and then we'll upload it. Just because of uh, visions that I had last night after doing mantras yesterday, um, and I only had like five minutes to get a download after mantras. I've, as I've shared with you guys, I felt like really tired and when I feel really tired after doing mantras or a meditation it's usually a download and there's information so I asked Cindy about that and she said yeah yeah there's info that'll probably come out tonight in sleep and so last night um, I had uh, horrible dreams and it was well it was one dream and I did go back to it again after waking up and telling Cindy about it um, I don't know where it was, but it was a big city, a very big city. So, you know, it was reminiscent of some of the bigger cities that are right on the water in, um, in the world. And what I saw was waves, and it was as if I was in uh, what we would call a skyscraper, not all the way to the top, but maybe three quarters of the way up. A big skyscraper because I was looking down at other buildings and buildings of comparable size and you could see the ocean where uh, it normally is which these buildings were right by the ocean but then the ocean was rising and rising and then everybody was starting to get terrified and horrified because the ocean was rising up and actually starting to come over to where the skyscrapers were and the buildings were and not only that, but it didn't really recede. It kept building higher, and then there was wave after wave coming in, multiple waves coming in, uh, that were many stories high without it totally coming down. And then looking around to the other side of the building, which would have been the, the side going towards the land, there was like waves backlashing back towards the sea that were up to... Um, you know, right below the area I was at. So again, many, many stories high. I could hear people screaming. Their their screams were very, very real. And that was the thing that stuck with me. And then the thought that hit me was, oh, so this is how this particular life ends. This particular incarnation ends. Um, it was pretty scary. Now, I got the impressions and... I can't really tell where it was. You know, my first impressions, I was wondering if it was Florida because of the way that the ocean color looks. It looks very much like that. It could have been in Asia, though, um, as the only people I saw appeared to be Asian. So I'm not really sure where it was. I really don't know. And it doesn't mean that it's going to happen today or tomorrow. The only reason I'm mentioning this is because the first thing that we saw when we woke up today was two point two 5.9s off of Cascadia, which has Cindy, you know, concerned would concern anybody, two 5.9s. Yeah, right, and their, and their placement. And I've had a similar dream um, <clears throat> when it comes to water, and, uh, but I was on the West Coast, and this was a couple years back, and... It was so real and so vivid, and the wave came up, and it hit my car, and I'm thinking I'm in my car, and I see the, there's like wood and debris flying all around my car, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm actually going to drown. I can't believe this actually happened, and it was on the West Coast, and, and I do believe that those are prophetic dreams, um, but, you know, again, timelines are always just so mysteriously it's just they're difficult to grab a timeline really yeah they're difficult to peg and then i've shared with you guys that i've been seeing the time times that we're in right now and that we haven't gotten quite to yet going back to 84 you know so going back to 84 is when i started to get visions of a red dawn scenario and of course that was so long ago so we don't know i mean i don't know if what what i'm seeing here i was wondering is it is it the 2045 ish event you know, was it the big event? And uh, we had crustal displacement and, and the pole shift. Uh, and because, you know, I mean, honestly, the scene almost looked like something out of the 2012 movie or one of those type of movies. 
it was uh, so dramatic. The thing that hit me, though, was like hearing all the screams in the background. It was uh, very, very haunting. Um, and it woke me up, you know, uh, saying, holy bleep. <laughs> uh, and I had to share it with her right away. Um, but, you know, she and I have both gotten the impression, as we've shared with you guys, that there are things that can appear to be natural that are not natural, that can be induced. And there's even been articles written, um, especially I've seen them several times in RT.com, uh, RT News, talking about certain um, weapons that can actually induce something like what I was just describing. And in these times, we could see the buildup going on, so I just thought I would mention it. Um, but what <laughs> what Cindy took from it is, you know, we're not vis visiting any friends on the coasts mm -hmm. uh, at this point in time. Um, and again, you know, this could be, this might have been a vision of, of when uh, the big flash comes that's going to trigger the full magnetic pole reversal and then the crustal displacement events that happen. And that might be, you know, 24, 25 years down the road. So it, it could have been something that's so far down the road it could have been a different timeline too it might be something that we can um, avoid although I think at some point in time you know there's a cleansing that's going to happen on the earth and we've talked about you know again how this system has been a, a plague a scourge it's it, it truly is uh, upon the land and Mother Earth you know her white blood her white blood cells are going to end up doing something about the infection it's just a matter of time uh, before that happens if we could get in harmony if we could get you know this system gone as fast as possible and start to live in harmony with the earth it could be a much more tranquil peaceful transition and that's the way things are supposed to be but you know we know that there's this power structure which is crumbling and that's why it's going to get more desperate because it is crumbling there's a certain batch of emails out there uh, that are get, getting a lot of attention, and I wish people would pay more attention to just how how much everything is scripted, and it's obvious, you know, it's obvious, and still, it's so disconcerting as we discover more and more people that we love going along with the the big scheme script and it boggles our mind but and it saddens our hearts because it, it feels like we're losing people we're losing family members when they're making these decisions that in our minds are ill-informed i know it is it, it it is disturbing and people they're just going along with what they think the best thing to do is and that's also disturbing as they're doing what they're doing with the best knowledge available in their hearts and they they believe in it so how, how do you go against that you really can't even if you do educate people it takes time to wake up and mike and i were talking about this yesterday you know as far as people doing what they're doing um so blindly and and i was saying you know well that's why they call it waking up it, it takes a little time you know you open your eyes a little bit and you kind of blink a few times and you got to pause and think of where you're at what are you doing and then all this other information comes flooding in and it's a process it, it takes time and usually you can't get to people on time unless they're already in that process yeah so just to recap you know two 5.9s and again th those might have been six or greater when we get to the uh, USGS downgrading service uh, off the coast of Oregon and you know this is in the Cascadian subduction zone which again we've had numerous articles coming out recently talking about the danger of exactly kind of like what I had seen last night in a vision again that doesn't mean it's going to happen now it might be 10 years might be 20 years or it could be something that's coming soon or maybe it maybe it's a different timeline that we can avert so I don't want to fear monger, but at the same time, when you get that after meditation and you see something so clearly, and, and that was one of the clearest 
uh, things I've ever seen. I, I mean, and right down to hearing, you know, what I would take to be uh, thousands and thousands, if not more, uh, screams so clearly. And <clears throat> it dislodged buildings in the, in the vision. Uh, smaller buildings were completely dislodged and, and moving to smash into bigger buildings. Um, it was it was very very disconcerting. So I just wanted to share that with with you guys uh, because of the timing of waking up and seeing this. And I know the first article uh, that I saw like a couple weeks ago that came out talking about uh, strike slip faults, and they were talking about San Francisco. And you know, could it have been San Francisco? It could have. It, it, it might have. I, I can't tell where it was. It could have also been Southeast Asia. It could have been Taiwan. I was seeing. It could have been uh, somewhere in the Philippines, Singapore, China itself. Um, I don't know. I, I, but it was just such a uh, clear vision. Um, but the other part that we wanted to really talk about is. A couple of things, you know, for one, there's there's talk about timelines again. Every time we've had like a certain timeline put out there, a certain month that certain people were hoping that there was going to be real change, it hasn't manifest. And, um, you know, there's talk about August or an August surprise or an August reversal, so to speak. Uh, and, of course, everybody hopes for that. But then again, you have to ask yourself, do you trust any individual at all that goes along with any portion of this greater script if you know what I mean uh, I don't and I never have I don't I won't trust any politicians are some better than others yeah you know um, there are some that I've been following since we were focused on uh, settling in the southwest and and uh, in particular there's some really good guys out of Arizona that are are fighting a good fight um, doing, trying to bring transparency to things. Uh, but I still wouldn't trust anybody that's telling me to, or recommending, or going along with a greater plan that includes things like uh, certain substances to be uh, placed within one's person. I, I think I worded that okay. Um, I wouldn't, you know, so again, lesser of two evils, everybody's got to make your own decision, you know, so that's, that's the thing, listen to your own t intuition, we were talking to um, people that we were working on, and, and a lot of people are interested in learning energy work, Reiki, Qigong, and we, we we could set up a program and teach our system, and we might do something like that. I, I did used to teach classes uh, twice a week, three times a week, sometimes every week. But what's coming in this, this time frame is a connection to your higher self, <clears throat> so to speak. It's so important to find our own way. And, you know, we're going to get away from doing things in a structured way, uh, buying into any system find your own way this is where we're going it's interesting because we're heading towards unity consciousness but the path to unity consciousness is an individual one it's finding your own way it's throwing away the structure it's throwing away the things that you've been taught and indoctrinated and that have basically brainwashed us into becoming uh, just another sheeple, just another part of the herd, part of the flock. And whatever flock you want to call yourself a part of, it's, it's, it's done through indoctrination unless, it's, unless you're finding your own path. And again, you know, we are all unique aspects and expressions of the one source, the one infinite intelligence that resides in and above and beyond the manifest universe. Right, and you know, we can't really hammer that home enough when it comes to finding your own way because then you're learning how to read your DNA memory and you're learning from past lives what you already know and you're bringing that forth and that's connecting to your higher self. So <clears throat> when you have practice 
uh, questions is perfectly fine to look things up and see how it's done but then if it feels better to do it a slightly different way then do it a slightly different way it's totally fine yeah don't be afraid to be yourself don't be afraid to be unique don't be afraid to be you know what some people would call odd and strange and you know a non-conformist that's <laughs> that it actually is the path mm -hmm. towards discovering who you are and then as a unique expression of that infinite intelligence we will come together in into a new consciousness the unity consciousness one that doesn't well it, it doesn't favor one over the other it accepts you know so there's so much pressure pressure on us to conform you must do this you must behave this way you must wear this you must wear that that's all the past that's not the future you know the future is all about freedom and out of individual freedom will the desire to serve others blossom and to share love and compassion for others and understand that each is on their its own unique path so we'll finish on that note and i hope i didn't scare anybody with the vision again it might be decades out it might be on a different timeline that we can avoid um i just felt compelled to mention it anyway so i hope what this is a positive video as always we must prepare 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 keep putting out our intentions for the best while preparing for whatever may come god bless and namaste god bless and namaste